I really, I really like the sound design for this game. I mean, obviously the uh, the underwater roaring noise is maybe going to get a bit uh, a bit tiresome, and I might be able to change that. Or maybe the developers will come out with a fix. Who knows? Anyway, let's go back in here for a second. I just wanted to break that wall. Is there anything else in here? Because that's the way I came. Now it looks... Looks like this is the way we want to go. Some more contrast in some of these spots might be kind of nice. It's, it's very soft lighting through and through with this game. Okay. That is going to make somebody sick. It's going to make me sick. Let's check these out. We've got three doors, one of which had like the weird manta ray critter. Ah. This one just has wind in it, which is fine. Looks like it was also like kind of an apartment complex. Oh, but we might have a, a thing. I see. So that's that's one of the gla glass rooftops that we observed earlier. Okay, well there's there's the manta ray. I'm gonna go I'm gonna kill it. Okay, it's more of a fish, but it is now dead? Maybe? I'm not really sure what's going on here. It looks cool for all of a couple of seconds, and then poof. I am confused. I probably have to hit these. No. Okay. Don't know. Let's go check this out. There should be two more gates to go into. Looks like they're just filled with wind and nothing more. But that might not be so bad. Okay, I don't see anything else immediately in here. I don't really know if we need all of this wind. But, like, at the same time, there's not really a whole lot of reason why not to just collect it all. Do we have anything interesting down this way? Nope, doesn't look like it. And please tell me this is not the door I've already been into. Aha! Relic acquired. This is too old for words. Sunfish commemoration. An ancient relief created long ago to commemorate the creatures that illuminate this world. Their magnificent glow once reached the furthest end of the ancient civilization. Oh, we saw that mural outside. I guess... I guess... So that, that thing that I tried to kill and got captured by... I'm not really sure how or what or whatever. Uh, but that thing must have been the sunfish. That was spoken of. What is this? Okay, so this is just a bypass to get back to where I just was. Yeah, there's some interesting spots in here. That I'm probably never going to be able. Uh, I'm never going to be able to find just because. Find or appreciate fully, just because of the way this game kind of works. Not that it's necessarily be so bad, but still. Yeah, what is up with this this dude who? I don't think I can do anything with it, apart from fly through it now. Let's see, I've already been through this door, yeah? Yeah. Alright, well, let's go see the archaeologist. What's up in here? Oh. Okay, it's pretty much nothing. Yeah, let's go see the archaeologist. Yeah, I like the little piano wings, but I'll probably switch away from them when I get the chance. Alright. 
So we've delivered that. And talk. Cartographer, do you see that? Oh, sorry. I keep calling this guy the cartographer. No, he's the uh, archaeologist. Anyway. Cartographer, do you see that? The sun, it's moving. Did you somehow power it when you opened the cage? An enormous ball of collected wind, seemingly moving of its own accord. Swimming as if it's alive. Wait, you don't think... Okay, first hypothesis. It's a mass of wind propelling itself around the chamber with its own power. Though, I'm not sure why wind would behave this way. Or hypothesis number two. We've stumbled across something big. Something of legend. Hmm. Hmm. If that's the case, I'm not sure I can even begin to explain the significance of it being here. Demigods were, or are, extremely dangerous creatures. In all of the stories, they're the reason the inverse died. But this one is real. Imagine the wind it's holding. If you're careful, maybe you can get a closer look. I tried swimming near the demigod myself, but was repelled. It's too blindingly incandescent. Perhaps, if you could just find an opening. Is there anything else you'd like to know? That's all. Okay. So I am going to kill it. I'm going to kill the sun. Where is it? I don't know, but we got some wind over here, so I should probably go grab it. Now this is floating just above. It'd be nice if there was like a map system or something like that. You know, like... You haven't been over this way. Before. There's some neat bits. And like side sections all over the place. Okay, so I don't see anything particularly useful here. I Least of all the... Uh... Oh, there he is. So an opening. Well, I can get in. Maybe I just bump the runes now. that do it? It's... It's like it almost works. But it looks worse this time. Like, it's all orange and glowy. Like, it looks like I've done some damage. Where I had not before. Now I just gotta get it to... Because, yeah, Kurt... Currently, I'm underwater. Can't do anything about it. I'm waiting for it to go by one of the uh, the weird flower things. Unfortunately, the only flower things that I've got available are closed. I think I've got to get one that's open in the general area. I mean, this one? Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Unless, maybe the flowers shrink in its presence? Oh, yeah, if you notice it only has one health left. So all I have to do is go until I can find one more spot to hit it from. Unless, last option. Yeah, I bet that's it. Maybe... 
I don't know. And I don't... I'm very confused. Because we hit it. We got it there. He's going fast. There we go. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. The sunfish is dead. Or Hello? So much has happened to me. I need a moment to think. That was you, wasn't it? You set me free. First from the stone, and then from the wind. Thank you. As for me... Long ago, I led the way for the inhabitants of this world. They revered me as a demigod. They called me the Sunfish, and it became my name. I want to tell you all that has happened to the inverse and to me. But this place is a temporary shelter amongst the cosmos. Our time together here is brief. I can only tell you one secret. A demigod is no divine creature. Our immortality flows from the wind we've amassed, and nothing more. My magnificent light came to cost. It's wind from other lives, uh, other places. Wind gathered to me. It left the world parched and still. Beyond you, the little life that remains is likely to likely bound up in the wind of a demigod like me. Now you have already started to free this wind. Your grander purpose is unknown to me, but I will make you an offer. The days here are turning to dusk. The inhabitants of my world have long since disappeared. And little remains for me to do with the wind I've borrowed. You may take it. In exchange, I ask you, please carry forward my story and the memory of this place. As you forge ahead, attend to what remains, gathering what you can. If you don't, the memory of this place and the echoes of its inhabitants dies with it. Carry the memories with you, and they will survive. Little time remains. As a symbol of my trust, I will give you give over my wind. You may take it, as long as you carry one small burden. Don't let us slip into oblivion. This is cool. I like it. So there are boss fights, but the boss fights are kind of non-violent. They're more kind of like puzzly, like figure out how to hurt the thing. I like that. I like the exploration too. Music's a bit discordant, but it fits the game rather well. And I also just like flying, even if it's going to give me a headache. I'm all juiced up and ready to go. Where's there's the archaeologist? Hello, I killed a demigod and stole its powers. It's been an astonishing day. I built a drone, a drone that can speak with me. Together we learned the demigods are real, and I'm fairly certain the transverse gate can now be unlocked and powered. After seeing all the wind release from that demigod, we may be able to do more than just power that gate. Imagine if there are other demigods out there with just as much power. Imagine what other places we can explore. Doesn't that sound exciting? The history books will tell stories of the amazing flying cartographer. Let's get out of here, cart. A new world awaits us. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Questions? Okay, never mind. This place wins. Never mind. That's all. Okay. So we're going to go back. However, so we can leave. And that in and of itself is a temptation. What's this? I think that's nothing. Okay. Before we go... 
I'm all glowy, which is actually kind of annoying. I wanted to find the way we came in. Is it over here? It might have been over here. No. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Where was it? Okay. Yeah, so the reason why I want to find the way... All roads lead to that. Ah, there it is. The reason why I want to go back is... There was a bunch of... Um... Yeah, here we go. There's a bunch of underwater segments... Uh, back in kind of the tutorial -y place where we started... That I couldn't reach. And I'm really curious about if there's anything down here. Because he said there were underwater tunnels. I think we just spotted one, but I wanted to double check. Yeah. Because there was wind. I think the other way? Nope. Uh, we have like 243 wind or something like that right now. Ah, 248. Okay. Maybe uh, certain certain ones have different wind values. Uh, and so I was like, there's got to be like more wind in here. Just lurking in some secret place. Honestly, there's probably a ton of secrets that I, I've missed already. This seems like one of those games that's just going to hide it all over. But my thoughts are, you know, let's uh, backtrack for a bit and grab what we can. There might just be, like, flat 300? Nope. I don't know. There's a lot of wind in here. Damn. I'm, like, actually kind of impressed. And proud of myself. Honestly, was not expecting to um, to find this much. I think we got everything. Yeah, most definitely got everything from this chamber. Yeah, his little thing about like, yeah, there are secret little tunnels that uh, I went through. I was like, that means there's goodies in there. And lo and behold, there were in fact goodies in there. And I'm getting better at piloting, so it's not like it's uh, that much of a. Time waste. Waste of time? Uh, detour? All of the above, really. Oh, my face itches. Okay, I think the last exit's over here. This area gets kind of tight. Yep. This looks like it. Okay. 372. Four, so these are smaller denominations. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a flat four or five hundred wind. There might be. I don't know. Let's get out of here, though. I think I've got enough. I don't really know how much wind I need. Uh, but I, I, I figure this, this way is the easiest. So for a cartographer, I was really hoping I'd get a map. Recently gathered. Frames. Nah, nothing. A map or some kind of, like, collectible book being like, you're missing X amount. But I guess it's not the end of the world. Music and soundscapes return to the key of the world they take place in. I keep seeing that logo and I think the Iron Giant. <laughs> 
the Sun Chamber. And there's that statue thing from the uh, prologue. Has seen significantly better days, though there is a thing in its face. Oh, I gotta break the face. Oh, that's cool. So because we came in with the sun power, we're able to, um, we're able to light areas and stuff. Now, this should also mean that I am significantly less glowy. This, this is the capital of the inverse. This is the birthplace of the ancients, my ancestors. This chamber powered our civilization through the golden age of frontier expansion. In its prime, this chamber bustled with people, drones, and wildlife. You know, I don't think I'd have the nerve to visit without company. Thank you for helping me get here, and for joining me on this journey about the sunfish. I'm still struggling to fathom the significance of what we witnessed back there. A demigod, alive and moving, to think it was alive in that cage, lighting the center chamber for all of my life. It told me its story. You spoke with the demigod? What did it say? Did it tamper with your programming? Did it seek vengeance? Is that why it attacked the ancients? It spoke of memories. Huh. I see. You know, I think I agree. Good point, cartographer. Consider the relics you've uncovered. They tell the story of the inverse and those who lived there. Their creators are immortalized through them. But what good is it if we have no one to share their stories with? What becomes of the sunfish's story? What about all of the inverse's history? All of it disappears. Unless someone... Oh, unless we take it somewhere else. To somewhere prosperous. To somewhere alive. Somewhere where we can call home. Leaving the inverse. Ah, spoken like a true cartographer. Precisely. Let's find a way out. In fact, I've witnessed enough recently to make uh, that makes me think that much of what I thought were myths are actually part of the history of this place. I've received concrete evidence that demigods are real. Now, I'm observing the storied sun chamber, the origin of the ancients with my very own eyes. If those legends were fact, what other stories could be true? Hmm. You know, supposedly near the end of the civilization, the ancients tried to leave the inverse. Certain texts referred to a failed passage an attempt to build a transverse gate that could take them beyond the inverse. This final gate must have been unique, knowing its purpose. There must be evidence of it somewhere. If there's evidence, I bet you can find it. You have the power to open what was locked, uncover what was lost. I'm sure you can find it. Scour this chamber. Find all the relics. I'll see if I can decipher them. And let's see if we can figure out a way to activate this transverse gate. Are you with me, cartographer? Let's find a way to escape these dying worlds and share the history of this place. Well, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Let's get to it. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Oh, uh, let's see. Something else. Never mind this place about you. This place. What are you interested in knowing? Oops. Something else. This place. Ancients, wind, demigods. No, it's the same thing. How about let's try something else about you. Are you an ancient? <laughs> oh, well, technically I'm a descendant, I suppose. The real ancients disappeared long ago. Oh, this is the first time I can really see this sub. Looks nice. We survived for as long as possible, living off the remnants they left. Generations passed, and with each popu uh, and with each population shrunk, until there is one left. I hardly consider myself one of my people, actually. I find myself drawn to the ancients far more than I ever did my contemporaries. Maybe I was born in the wrong era. Probably is what drew me to my studies in the first place. Uh, let's see. More about you. Archaeology. As I immerse myself in my studies, I continue to find myself stuck with large gaps of information lost to time, locked behind powered, door, powered down doors, transverse gates, and the like. There's so much left unknown. So I started excavating and recovering what I could. My studies took me to places others didn't go. The expeditions were sometimes dangerous, either due to cave-ins, volatile winds, or worse. Eventually, I started to dream of seeing places of legend with my own eyes. That was the spark that grew into this journey about building me. One of my greatest accomplishments, if I do say so myself, and greatest finds. You found me? I like to think myself clever, but my expertise in, is in history, not computing. There are many drones before you, but none with your sophistication. I applied a remote data key that I found in a lost area of, res of a research facility. You were used for some form of academia, though I'm not sure the speciality. Either way, your sophistication has surprised me. To be honest, I'm glad 
you turned out to be a friend, not just a tool, which suits me just fine. Why make me? I needed a partner to traverse places I couldn't. Most of the ancient's drones were lost, and the ones left hardly suited my purposes. They were either personal assistants or weapons. No, I needed something autonomous that I could trust, I suppose. Okay, so I wanted to check something. Were there more options for this? Okay, it's the same thing then. Uh, let's see. Ar Archaeology. Yeah. So we've learned everything we could about this guy. And I'm probably not going to talk too much. Uh, lore is nice. But honestly, I'm here for bits and pieces of it, but mostly also the game. And boy, is it something I'm here for. This is this is a lovely game. It reminds me of it reminds me of Obzu, but with everything that I wanted out of Obzu, you know, kind of answers uh fantasy because Obzu was, you know, very realistic up until the very very end and then it was just like, huh. Okay, you know, maybe maybe 3 quarters of the way through or even like halfway. But like with this one it's a a totally like separate interesting world that you can explore and look around, and it looks nice. It really does. Uh, I I can't wait until we see more. Supposedly some of the demigods get pretty big, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. But uh, I guess for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode of, uh, of uh, Inner Space. And as always, thanks for watching.